Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaiga, up here today, guys, um, with another video. Um, and there's never, never good lighting down here, so I apologise for this terrible lighting. Um, I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. No, no, never, never a good way of doing it unless I just hold the camera. Um, so yeah, um, I thought I'd do a today's video, um, talk about the PlayStation Vita and how I'm getting on with the Vita. Um, I've got to say that um, I'm actually quite impressed with the system, and I'm going to talk about that in a little in in a little minute. Well, I guess a little minute could work. Um, <clears throat> but uh, before I do that, I just thought I'd show two things that I did pick up when I first come down here. I picked up. Little Big Planet on the Vita, I paid six pounds for that. Um, of course, got to build my Vita collection one way or another. And of course, I picked up Raid Twenty uh, World War Two. Which why is it all wet? Oh great, it's all wet now. Um, yeah, it's all wet. Why is it all wet for? Someone must have spilled something on it. Great. Uh, Raid World War Two, which is essentially a World War Two version of Payday. I, I've been waiting for a good price for that game. I paid six pounds. Um, which again, I don't know how good the game is without playing it with with friends and stuff. But yeah, still another PS4 game to the collection. But some good news is there will be a pickup video on Thursday. I'm going to be taking a trip into Red in Town Centre, but also I'm going to actually. It branch out and go to Maidenhead now. There's really not much in Maidenhead. Um, however, there is a game shop in Maidenhead called 24-7 Games. And I've been there before. And I was actually pretty impressed with, with the shop in question. Um, if possible, I might be able to get some footage of the shop. Um, but I wouldn't guarantee anything with that one. But it's a really good shop. Um, I'm hoping to find some more PlayStation Vita games. Definitely, that's going to be my main goal um, over the next uh, the next pickups. Obviously, I normally when I do pickups, I normally go in with a sort of uh, sorry about that guinea pig cage. Um, I normally go in with with a certain um, sort of idea of what games I want to look for. You know, if I'm looking for PS4 games or if I'm looking for PlayStation 2 games, I'm going to try to get mostly some PS Vita games, um, but. We'll see you come Thursday. Um, I apologise, this is kind of a late video. Um, a lot of things have been going on since I've been down with and back and forth to the hospital with my nan and what for. Um, so things have been a little bit um, back and forth for me at the moment. So I don't really know when I'm returning home. Hopefully um, things are alright. I can go back sooner rather than later. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation Vita. Um, I've got to say, um, a lot of, some people have said, what, what's the point getting a PlayStation Vita in 2019? You know, it's 2019, this, this system is, what, seven years old? And it's coming towards its end of its lifespan. Um, the first thing I do want to say is the PlayStation Vita, although the console towards its end of its life, it's still not entirely cheap to collect for. A lot of the Vita games... Um, again, it might be due to the fact that the console probably didn't sell um, as much as it did with the um, PSP um, or, or what. Um, some of the games might have come out in smaller quantities, especially some of the JRPGs and things. And there's a lot of limited run games out there that you can find. Um, I've got to say that so far, yes, I've only really been playing Dynasty Warriors next on my Vita and a little bit of... Um, and I've played a little bit of um, uh, Sonic Racing Transformed. Um, but but uh, all in all, um, I, I wanted a Vita because I wanted um, to be able to play, you know, some games on the go. Um, uh, you know, have something I can just pick up and play um, quite easily without having to, you know, set anything up. And just to have something in my hand. Um, and, and as much as I want to switch, um, I don't have the 300 Two hundred and fifty, three hundred pounds to go out and buy a switch, there and then kind of thing. I would like a switch, but at the moment I thought a PS Vita would be a, a, a good sort of <clears throat> a good sort of um, medium, I guess you can call it. Um, and and uh, I've got to say that's not to say that I don't like this um, the, the Vita in any way. I I'm very impressed 
um, with the Vita. Um, and there's a lot of things about the Vita that I didn't realise um, were on the Vita. Um, the first thing that sort of surprised me was PlayStation 1 and PlayStation Portable games. You can actually buy PSP and PS1 games from the PlayStation Vita um, digital store, kind of like the uh, PlayStation store for the Vita, which which surprised me. Um, the PS1 games not so much because um, the PlayStation Portable had um, had a a, a um, PS the PSP. You could get PlayStation 1 games for. Um, but PSP games did surprise me. So it's nice that there is some sort of backwards compatibility um, with the PSP games. Maybe not in, in, the, in the sense of being able to play them if you own them on a disc. But if you've got digital versions of some of the great PSP games. Uh, like Chinatown Wars. Um, Gangs of London was another fantastic one. Um, and, and there's a, quite a few of them. Uh, game, same thing with the PSP one you can get like the Resident Evil, some of the Crash Bandicoot games, the Spyro games. I bought Toy Story 2 on my Vita because it was only £1.69 and that's the thing they're really cheap. Um, the, the PS1 games and PSP games are actually surprisingly cheap um, especially the PS1 games. You can get Resident Evil um, 3 or uh, the PS1 version of Resident Evil 3 for like 3.99, which is fantastic. Seeing how the PS1 version of that game um, is about a 20 pound game, give or take. So, so it's actually reasonably priced, and to be able to play PS1 games on the go um, is really, is really, um, really, again another bonus for me. Um, all in all, I like the design of the Vita so far. Um, I do like the touchscreen effects. Um, with Dynasty Warriors Next, it does actually use um, the, the touchscreen quite well. Um, and obviously, you've got the back touchpad, you've got a front touchscreen, you've got a camera. Um, so it's kind of, um, you know, and, and I do actually like the feel of this. Um, I would, I know you can get special grips for it as well, which I do want to um, invest in getting one of them because I hear they're actually quite uh, make, make it much more comfortable and that's what you want when you've got a handheld you want as much comfortable um, a comfortable system as possible otherwise if you're playing it for too long you might get hand strain or your hands might go numb from playing it for too much time but um, I, I'm actually impressed with the Vita so far um, yes I don't have a lot of games for it um, again Although it is quite hard to find Vita games at the moment, especially around where I live. Um, you know, CEX only normally have like a handful of games. Um, it, it, whether that's because people don't trade them in or people didn't buy the Vita or what, I don't really know. Um, but it's great that a lot of third party companies put games out for the Vita. Um, there's cross play, so if you have the PlayStation 4 version of the game, and you have the PS Vita version, you could transfer your save um, file. So if you were playing a PS4 game and you wanted to take it on the go, you could essentially do that. Again, I don't know if it works for every game, but I believe for the most part it does um, work with most games. Um, I have tried remote play at home. It didn't work too well. It was quite laggy. Again, might have been because there was other people on the network. I don't know. Um, might be ways around that, but again, that's not that much of an issue for me. Because chances are, if I've got the PS4, I'm, I'm going to play on the PS4 anyway. Um, but all in all, um, it's nice little. It's a nice little device. Um, I'm impressed with it. See, me now, I only paid sixty pounds for it, which I think is a decent price. You know, fifty to sixty pounds. Fifty to seventy is a pretty decent price for a Vita. I wouldn't go out and pay more than a hundred for one. Definitely not, uh, unless you know for certain you're going to really um, play it to death. Um, and I have actually been playing it quite a bit. It's, again, it's nice to be able to just play something. Uh, you know, especially down here. You know, if my brother wants to um, go on his PS4 because it's his PS4. Or they want the room. Um, I can just go and play on my Vita, which is great. Um, I am hopefully going to pick up some more games um, on Thursday. Hopefully, we'll get some good stuff. 
more than likely it will be more Vita games than anything else but 24 7 games do have a nice variety of old and new games so might be surprised and picking up a few ps1 games as well um, i'm going to be ordering uh, some av cables for my ps1 as well so i can set that up at home and then actually finally start my uh, PlayStation 1 get, um, set up. Um, if you're wondering what I've actually been playing while I've been down here, I finished um, Call of, not Call of Duty, um, Earth Defense Force on easy as a Ranger Earth Defense Force 4. Um, I, I enjoyed that game, but I've actually been playing Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Um, and I've got to say, I really like this game, actually. That's what I'm just putting in now. Um, I actually really like this game, actually. I like how it's nice and um, sort of open-ended. There's no um, right way of doing things. If you want to play the game and kill everyone, you can do that. If you don't, you want to be stealthy and be a nice guy and not kill anyone, you can do that too, you know? Um, and I like that when games sort of don't sort of um, force certain style to play on you so it's a, it's a nice game that um pretty much suit it, it, it tailors to anyone's uh, needs really whether you like stealth or you like action games it's both um but yeah i, I just thought i'd do a, a small video not on big video today because you are getting a nice pickup video so hopefully we get some good stuff um Really am enjoying the Vita. I love playing Dynasty Warriors next on the go. I might pick up the other Dynasty Warriors game as well, which is a uh, Extreme Legends. Um, yeah, Dynasty Warriors next is kind of like a mix between Dynasty Warriors and Dynasty Warriors Empires thrown into one, which I do actually like. I really like how it, how it plays and the touchscreen effects are actually nicely done. It's not too much um like relying on the touchscreen and the motion controls um but it's a nice medium uh, which which I, I i know some people don't like motion and touchscreen um based games um but if a game gives you the option of using it or not using it that that's i find that the best medium um i will be getting some of the uh, move controllers for the vr soon as well um probably next month so i'm looking forward to that um but yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about sort of give you a little bit of an update on what what what's going on um should be a pickup video on thursday don't see why there shouldn't be um and i'll keep you guys updated with what's going on Feel free to check on Twitter and stuff. That's where I'll post some things if there's going to be certain delays or whatever. Um, I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like. And, of course, comment below. Let me know, do you like the PlayStation Vita? Is there any certain games you think I should definitely get on the Vita? Um, before I go, Limited Run have finally put up their Star Wars Family Hunter on PS4 as a physical version for $29. I want to get it, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. And of course, um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And as always, guys, I want to thank everyone. Nearly 100,000 views in total. It's amazing. I know some people don't really care about how many views they've got in total. But that's a good milestone for me. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, I appreciate all the support you give on the channel and stuff. Um, really appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a nice day. And I will see you on Thursday with a pickup video. Hopefully we're gonna have some good stuff. I, I think we need I think we need some hidden um some holy grail items. I think we do. Alright, take care and bye bye.